real quick. We're going to make this for the website. Uh, but the question at hand, the title here is, is it worth the effort to build a PC in today's market? And well, I came into this article um, asking this question as someone who maybe is a console gamer or uh, I don't even know, just trying to get into gaming in general. And they're trying to decide whether they want to go PC, stick with console, how much it's going to cost. They come into this, you know, someone's looking at a console, it's like a, a three to five hundred dollar thing. Where you start looking at a PC and you can easily spend a thousand, two thousand dollars, no problem. So it really depends on what you want to do. And back in like 2018 was when I built, I got back into PC gaming. I hadn't, I hadn't done it in like five, six years. And I was like, okay, can I build a budget PC? And I set myself a budget of $600. And I was able to build an absolutely sick PC. It was like fall 2018, so a little bit before 2019. And the, the specs here I have listed out actually. <laughs> uh, it was a GTX 1060 six gig, which is a great card. It was a Ryzen 2600, which is uh, at the time had just come out. It was a six core, 12 thread processor. Um, we had 16 gigabytes of RAM. I went with just like a, I think it was a five or 600 watt. Bronze rated EVGA power supply, but you know, it's a rated, rated well. It wasn't modular or anything, but it got the job done. A simple case that cost like $50, everything fit in. Uh, it was like the MSI mortar, um, MATX motherboard. Like things, it just went together. It was $600, everything was brand new. And I did get a sick deal. Just it happened to be on sale where the power supply came with the graphics card all for $200, which crazy. It's hard to, up until a couple months ago, you couldn't even get a 1066 gig for under $200 because of the pandemic. But now we're back to where, you know, those used cards are just absolutely plummeting in price, which is really nice. But new is just where I was coming at this from. Someone who, who is coming into PC gaming might be scared to go the used market route. They don't know what they're looking at. They, they want to look at something new. And when it comes to pre-builds right now, you're kind of in a tough spot. You can't get anything really better graphics card wise than like a 3050 or a 1650, which is NVIDIA's like starting tier uh, for getting into gaming. And actually both of those cards <laughs> perform right around that 1060 six gig mark. A card that was the most popular card for over five years that you could build with at a cheaper price than these cards currently are new that don't necessarily perform as well as it. And actually, a month ago, for the first time, or I guess it's about two months ago now, when Steam reported their uh, Q4 2022 hardware results, the GTX 1650, for the first time, took over that leading spot is the most popular graphics card in the world. That performs worse than the 1060. That means in six years, gaming computers on average have gotten worse. Now that's not talking about the high end. The high end is much better. But on average, the average gamer out there has got a worse computer now than they did five to six years ago. And that's kind of sad. And that in a way kind of shows where the new market is going, that the prices on the top end are going up so quickly that they can still, they can keep increasing the prices on the low end and not really innovate there either. So it's getting more exp expensive to buy new low end and you're not getting anything for it. There's no innovation happening. Uh, so that's kind of the reason I started to write this article. The reason I was attacking this is frustrated. My buddy asked me, you know, if he could get into PC gaming for five to $700 and I felt bad building him something that was worse new today for the same price as something in 2018. Um, and yeah, there's inflation, but there's always been inflation. The, the thing that always went along with that is graphics cards get better over years, typically at similar price points, maybe with inflation accounted for. That, that's just not the trend. A brand new 1650 right now is gonna run you 150 to 250 dollars, and it's a much worse card than the 200 dollar 1066 I got a couple years ago. So then, move into like the second week of it, and one thing that 
was gonna make it a little bit easier is I had some cool parts from my buddy who I helped recently put together his new PC. He went all out and he kind of got a nicer rig and he's someone he just doesn't want the clutter. He's like, okay, you can you can have my old stuff. You built my new computer. I had some issues with my old stuff. See if you can troubleshoot what was wrong and anything that still works, you can have. So I'm gonna be going into this with an ITX motherboard, X570. Uh, a nice Ryzen 3600, 6-core, uh, 12 thread CPU, and 16 gigs of RAM. All, you know, no cost towards the overall budget, which really helps out. So that's, I mean, a great starting point. The graphics card was still frustrating me. I, I was refusing to go with a 1650. And I, since I'm the one building it, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna start looking at used stuff. And I did find that you can actually get some really, really good deals. The used market has come down. A lot of people did upgrade during the, the 3000 series, even though it was, it was wild because it's like those were so overpriced, but it was such a good upgrade over the 10 series cards that a lot of people upgraded. And there's a lot of 10 and 20 series cards out there that are really cheap in the used market. So I started looking at 1070s and 1080s. 1070s are 150 to 200 dollars on eBay. 1080s 200 to 250, and yeah, those are five to six year old cards, but they're gonna get the job done for someone starting out much better than 1650. At least in the the immediate future, for you know three to four years, still a great graphics card. And then we went off to land, and the biggest piece of this puzzle came in, and that's the. I think the PC community is, is, as much as there's like the whole PC master race thing, and there is gatekeeping in it uh, to some point, and I hate that, but really the PC community as a whole, and especially the friends you meet when you go to things like LAN events, are amazing. And that wasn't what I was, I, I had forgotten a little bit about the whole like the friend thing. And friends love seeing other friends jump into the PC gaming. That's why I do this. That's why I build my friends' computers when they ask for help. And I went to LAN with a group of friends, uh, one of which just recently upgraded to a 30 series card. And he has a 1078 gig that he's just got laying around doing nothing. He just goes, hey, I'll give it to you for, they're going for 150 to 200, I'll give it to you for 100 bucks. And that kind of, it, it made me really happy and then I realized, not just because like we can get now Everything parted out is a little is sub 500 bucks for this for this PC, and it's a great PC. It's going to do an awesome job for three, four, five years. I realized that you should look to to friends in this like community. You're you're going to go to LAN events or online Twitch communities, uh, Discords. Everybody in there has a gaming PC or something similar going on, and maybe, maybe they, they have a laptop, maybe they don't have extra parts laying around, but maybe they do, and it's worth asking, being like, hey, does anyone have an old graphics card, an old CPU that just, they just have kicking around, that it's just taking up space for them, but they would love to see a friend or a friend of a friend jump into this awesome community we have. That's kind of where the whole article changed. It, it started with, is it worth the effort to build a PC in today's market? And I think I was looking at that the wrong way. I was looking at like taking the easy new route. And I don't necessarily think that's the route to take anymore. I think if you're interested in joining into the whole like PC uh, gaming side of things, a lot of times it's because you have friends already in it. So look to them. Look to the deals you can maybe get through them. Look for their help because maybe they know an easier route to go about it. I was looking at this as someone completely new going into it. Look to the community itself, and I think you're gonna have a really good time getting into the community, building an awesome PC, and you're gonna make more friends along the way doing it. So I feel like I rambled about this for a while, but that was kind of the whole mental process I took. But the key is, yeah, I think it is still worth it right now in today's market, even though new parts are so freaking expensive to build. The one other thing I would say keep your eye on is laptops and mini PCs. I know they're not long-term upgradable, but like the Steam Deck, what they're doing with iNeo is doing, 
uh, GPD win with the win four. They have these small PCs and like the Steam Deck starts at like $300 and you can dock it. You can play games on there in 1080p. I mean, that's like a, that's console prices. You just need a keyboard, mouse, and a monitor to go along with it. So maybe you spend $600 total, but you have a PC you can take with you and dock. That's pretty sick. It's, a, hopefully they get Windows running on it a little bit better. And then the other one is laptops. All you need is a mouse. It comes with the keyboard. It comes with a high refresh rate display. And there's a lot of sick laptops on the market for that. Honestly, seven hundred to a thousand dollar range. A lot of the ones in that area are going to come with like a 3050, 3050 Ti, which, like I said, is still around that 1060 range. But they're also coming with just 1080p high refresh rate displays. They'll come with eight gigs of RAM. You can upgrade that for thirty bucks, no problem. Throw another eight gig stick in, you get sixteen. You're you're good to go. Uh, but occasionally, there's ones with like a 3060 in it. Especially now that the 40 series laptops are coming out, you're going to see a lot of laptops with like a 3060 start to drop to that $700 range. And I think that's, if if you are new to this and building a PC is still intimidating, and you don't wanna look at the used market, that's another place to look. So yeah, guys, thanks for reading the article. Thanks for stopping by uh, the channel here. And I'll see you guys in the next one.